Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use chat GBT for SEO. Before we begin, I do want to show you at the top right here, it says we're experiencing exceptionally high demand. Please hang tight as we work on scaling our system. So if you're watching this video and you're having trouble signing in, don't fret. A lot of people are. I've had to go back and forth and trying to sign in. I finally got it to work. So if it's not perfect for you at the time, they're experiencing a ton of volume with their popularity. Also, I am a slightly a little sick. I'm on the tail end of getting better. So I might not be as, as it's enthusiastic as I normally am, but we'll get stuff done. So what I want to show you when it comes to SEO, there's going to be two templates that it's going to be very easy to utilize here. So uh, I'll keep this up for a sec. Uh, if you want to, I will just paste this in the comment section. If I forget, let me know and I can do that. But the templates are going to be write a blog title based on the keyword. So if you're writing an article for SEO and you know your keyword, that you just simply need to put in there. And then once you actually have that title, you can paste this in and then add it in. So I have the first one in here. And let's say I'm going to come up with a random keyword. Okay, and what I did is I went into Google is but why YouTube is important for marketing people are searching for this. So let's copy this. That's going to be my example. And let's hit enter okay, why YouTube should be a key component of your marketing strategy. So given the fact we just have one here, we can write more, we can get more. Give me one second. And so I just put right another blog title based on the keyword why YouTube is important for marketing. Keep in mind, it's like you're, it's called chat GPT for a reason. It's like you're talking to someone. You can say like, write another one probably, but I just put the full thing. Okay. Let's just say write another. Let's see if it actually knows what we're talking about. Another title or like, give me another title. Give me another title now. All right. There we go. I had the mic in front of me. It's tough to see. Okay. Perfect. How about another title? Another one, right? YouTube Marketing 101, why it's essential for business growth and success. So you can see how you can just keep going on if you want to get more uh, title ideas. That's going to be up to you. Very easy to do, right? So we know how to get our title and we know how to just tell it to have us give us more titles if we don't write it. So now we have this. Write a meta description based on the title. And what we can do is just copy one we want to use. So I like this. Why YouTube should be a key component of your marketing strategy. And probably if we were going for that keyword, we'd probably want that specific keyword in the title, right? Where was it? Uh, uh, why YouTube marketing is important. I'd probably front load that and put that in the front of it and then something else. But, you know, up to you. There we go. And let's scroll down. Okay, so we have discovered the many benefits of using YouTube as a marketing tool and learn why it should be a key component of your marketing strategy. From building brand awareness to reaching new audiences, YouTube offers a multitude of opportunities for businesses of all sizes. Since I have it here, oh wait, I don't have it all here. So actually, let me just copy this. Right, let's do another meta description. Yeah, I'm just going to copy this in case you want to do it again. It is taking a little bit longer to load, as we talked about with their exceptionally high demand. So I'm just going to cut through the wait time. Usually it's pretty quick, but let's hit enter again. Okay, so it's more than just a video sharing platform. It's a powerful tool for researching or excuse me, reaching and engaging with customers. This article will explore the reasons why YouTube should be a key part of your marketing strategy and how it can help you achieve your business goals. Okay, so obviously it really depends on what you're going for. You could probably give it a little bit more information. Usually the description is something I like doing last because I will have more information about the article that I wrote. So for example, if I'm talking about YouTube being a key component of your marketing strategy, and in that article, I know I'm going to be talking about list building or affiliate marketing or partnerships. I know that's something that I can include in the description. So what I could actually do if I knew that, let's say I was going to talk about list building, why YouTube should be a key component of your marketing strategy and say like, and why you should build a list. I'm just putting that in there. So maybe that the description will have it as well. Let's see what we get though. All right, perfect. So that's exactly what we did. So like I talked about, this is a good reason why you might want to do your description last because you'll know what's in your article and you'll know what will be more appropriate to put in it. In this specific scenario here, it talks about why building a subscriber list on the platform is crucial for your business's growth and success. But all in all, that's a very quick tutorial when it comes to using chat GPT for SEO. This was simply just for titles and a meta description. Sometimes it's tedious. I know it doesn't usually take too long to do, but it's cool to be able to get kind of get it uh, cranked out very quickly for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that about does it. Hope you got some value out of this tutorial. My name is James and I'll see you in my next one.